Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading titled The Righteous City was written by Karen Pimpo. On New Year's Eve 2000, officials in Detroit carefully opened a hundred-year-old time capsule. Nestled inside the copper box were hopeful predictions from some city leaders who expressed visions of prosperity. The mayor's message, however, ordered a different approach. He wrote, May we be permitted to express one hope superior to all others, that you may realize, as a nation, people, and city, you have grown in righteousness, for it is this that exalts a nation. More than success, happiness, or peace, the mayor wished that future citizens would grow in what it means to be truly just and upright. Perhaps he took his cue from Jesus, who blessed those who long for his righteousness. But it's easy to get discouraged when we consider God's perfect standard. Praise God that we don't have to rely on our own effort to grow. The author of Hebrews said it this way, May the God of peace equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ. We who are in Christ are made holy by His blood the moment we believe in Him. But He actively grows the fruit of righteousness in our hearts throughout a lifetime. We'll often stumble on the journey, yet still we look forward to the city that is to come, where God's righteousness will reign. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 14 through 21. For here we do not have an enduring city, but we are looking for the city that is to come. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess His name. And do not forget to do good and to share with others For with such sacrifices, God is pleased. Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. Pray for us. We are sure that we have a clear conscience and desire to live honorably in every way. I particularly urge you to pray so that I may be restored to you soon. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray. Dear God, you have called us to live righteous lives before you and have given us your spirit to guide us in it. Help us to be sensitive to your spirit's leading and work in us what's pleasing to you. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening.